Come one and all and see the magnificent grapefruit perform the porcelain panic of the century. It just now occurred to me Cuphead is significantly smaller nose than Mugman, and I don't like it. Are they different species? So I actually have a timer right here. I've got it open on my phone. I will not be editing one into the video because it's a pain in the ass. Gotta be Mugman, my real main. Humans have different noses? No. Sorry, that's not true. You know what? I'm gonna pro. I'm gonna pull a pro gamer move, and I'm gonna skip the tutorial. Is that a joke? Is that a joke people like? Everyone wants me to joke about the tutorial, right? I didn't really think about this, but the beginning of this game is gonna be a bit of a struggle because I don't have much stuff unlocked. And by that I mean I literally only have the fucking pea shooter. I just really uh, <laughs> realized. I'm making up all sorts of new words today. I just realized the Goopy characters in this map are like tiny Goopy Legrandes, or whatever. Uh, you know what? Pea Shooter? More like, I never fucking use it. Goodbye. Oh, should I do secret phases of fights? Do you guys think- would, would that be fun? I just realized I, I've already missed the opportunity to do a secret phase. I will show off the secret phases in every fight except for that one. Because I've already done it and I'm a speedrunner. Dang it. I will say, uh, here's some preemptive Johns coming out. But my controller, which is like pretty new and like nice and like I got it pretty recently, already starting to uh, do stupid bullshit. Sometimes there'll be like snap back on the controller and Mugman will face the wrong way. I just realized this thing makes like spooky vocalizations. It goes like. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> From chat. JoJo reference please. All caps. Uh, Kono Dioda. Please laugh. Funny, right? Funny. So, if like ceramic things are sentient in this universe, that vase in the background with the crack in it is going like. Aah! Okay, first plane battle. And it's against Betty Boop herself. Oh, ah, ah! I took a hit. I gotta remember I have Tiny Plane. Okay, and it's the one that makes me want to fucking die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah, but mate. I'm gonna get to the UFOs and I'm gonna get fucked. I just know it. Oh, what? <sighs> you have to bait them out. You have to bait out the red ones. At least this literal entire game has amazing music. So you have to wait for the yellow ones, you have to kind of rush for the red ones. But you, I think they react slightly to your presence. So you gotta be careful. Did I just waste that bomb entirely? Because that would be really cool if that happened. Yeah, there we go. Parfait, my lads. I'm gonna stick to the spready... Spready Roosevelt. <sighs> I have my super now, I guess. I got it from the, the Chalice dungeons in Bloodborne. Oh, right, those hurt you, yeah! Alright, this is gonna be nice and tense now. Now, whatever this thing is, what are you? Get out of my fucking face. Ultimate disrespect, shoot at him while facing the other way. Oh, that is a... Ah, I do not like how tight that jump is. At the very end, I don't like it. Alright, now I'm gonna do the fucking dumbass frogs that always kill me. I just realized this game looks a lot easier when you're not, like, dying all the fucking time. Okay. Ho oh, ho. Just barely, uh, <laughs> slipped in between the Vore Brothers action there. Yes, this fight is ribbied for your pleasure. I'm sorry. Yeah, easy. Easy fight. I've discussed the, uh, the Vore moment from this game before. And it still truly unsettles me. It's it's the mixture of emotions between the different brothers. Like, whichever one's going in, I don't know which one's Ribby and which one's Croaks, but whichever one's going in, like, he likes it. He wants it to happen. But the other one has this sort of, like, dutiful, kind of like, I've done this a thousand times before, it's the sort of thing he likes, I just sort of do it for him, type thing. Yeah, I do it because you're my brother! Marry! Am I not allowed to do that? Timer says I'm at about 20 minutes, so doing okay. Yeah. 
Try me, bitch. I know how to press the down button. Apparently, if you touch these... Actually, I want to try this. Somebody said if you touch these projectiles, it's like touch fuzzy. Oh my god. It, you get a little bit... The screen gets a little fucked up. Because touch fuzzy get dizzy, I guess. Is the reference, or so I've heard. Ah! Okay, now we get to the slightly worrying portion of the run. So this one... These, this, this area is where I start to have a little bit of trouble. I almost got it. And I took a hit, like a pro. I'm just gonna come out. It's gonna be the cupcake. Oh, God. Ah, oh, that's why I hate this guy. I hate him so much. Oh, yeah, and there's the controller. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's that shit that happens now, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, the candy corn can fuck right off. That's a, that's a horrible one. I love that death animation where he goes through all the layers and then, like, ascends to heaven. It's these little shitheads that he leaves behind. That's what really makes this phase a pain in the toot. Here's the part that makes me shit my pants. You may not hear it or see it, but I'm actually shitting right now. Is there an achievement for getting a hundred parries in a row, I wonder? This is part of the speedrun. I have to build up speed here. I'm gonna kill all these guys. Oh! Never mind. I'm just gonna run past him. I'm crazy. Fuck! Ah! Oh, that wasn't. Uh, oh, that wasn't part of the enemy. That didn't count as the enemy. When I killed the enemy, the ball remained. Different thing. Now I'm never gonna die again. This entire game. Slur. Slur. Not slick. Get out of here, wiener. You're an imbecile. Okay, now we gotta do Wally Warbler. Actually, I'm gonna find the clown. Secret clown. Bet you motherfuckers never thought there'd be a secret clown in this game. All the fights in this game are so hyped, though. I, I can't stay mad at it. It's just got such, like, an energy to it. it just makes you want to go in and play some more. Oh, God. I'm gonna get cucked! Ah, there you go. I know they're supposed to be, like, stereotypical ghosts, but the resemblance between these things and sperm... It would be too obvious if they were white. Like, I'm really glad they're pink, unlike normal ghosts. Unlike real ghosts. Can I dash through these guys? Oh my god, I can. Oh, I've never tried that, but it feels slur. Okay! Woo-hoo! Yeah! Get a blast of this. Clown boy. Clown boy and chum chum, fuck off. What a gross death animation. I'll show you guys a cool secret though. I'll try to do the secret phase. I might get my cock knocked off though. We must soldier forward. For those who are fallen. Never mind. Those who are fallen can fuck themselves. I think this is kind of a hated fight too because it's. It's not got particularly amazing music! So this is the secret phase. He comes up and he clones you. Or he, like, does some weird shit where he replicates you. But if you turn into the tiny plane, then you get a little bunch of references, and then you get a cute little baby... baby puppet! Little baby puppet! Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah. I got too cocky against the Spongebob phase, where he goes, nah! I I'm determined to do the secret phase now, even though it's- I think it's just harder. I think it's just objectively harder. But you can see Dr. Kyle's robot there, that's kinda cute. There was an achievement for killing a boss with only the mini-plane bullets, and I'm really glad I didn't do that for this boss, holy shit. There he goes. He's like, <coughs> <coughs> fuck! <coughs> Oh. That's what he's like. I'm gonna talk to these same clowns. No, 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 no. That, not for that long, though. Okay, that's enough. Get it? You can duck under the ducks. So some people like to shoot this eye. I don't know what they're on about. I just do that. Twice as easy. Slick! No! Slurk! That's what I was trying to do. I'm gonna talk to this guy. He's gonna nut his 
fucking pants and give me a coin, because I am a parry god. This boss has one of the best songs in the whole game, in my opinion. A lot of people have trouble with this phase. You gotta pay attention to where the fire guys are facing. Okay, and you gotta not do that thing that I just did. Alright, that's a knockout, ladies and gents. That's it. Did you see- wait. Mugman just like teleported onto that cloud. What the fuck was that? Oh! Oh, what? Did you see that? I hit the parry and then I just immediately took damage. Someone in chat is saying that the game is suggesting that the bee lady wants to eat Mugman slash Cuphead. In fact, we should make uh, we should make some sort of portmanteau of the names Cuphead and Mugman so that we can just talk about both of their roles in the plot. I propose we call this person Cum Man. Or maybe Smughead? Smegman? Oh, good platforms. Good platform spawns, wouldn't you agree, chat? Okay. Oh, shit. I thought she was telegraphing the other arm, but I am fine, I guess. This is one of the best fights in the game, I think. Just in terms of, like, presentation, the way it looks. It's just, there's something a little janky about it that fits with the aesthetic of, like, old cartoons. I can't really even put my finger on it. I don't know what it is. Okay, and then this phase can be entirely cheesed. Look at this bullshit. The boat can do nothing about this strat. This is, uh, of course, the cutest fight in the whole game. This was one of the ones that I tried beating with Tiny Plane, and, uh, it didn't go well. Bullets! Okay, I only have one HP for this, so that's cool. I'm a scat man! Alright, we're doing good. We're at Larry the Lobster Town. And we can actually just sprint past his bullshit. Oh! Okay, or we can't. That's cool too. I'm wondering if there are any secret phases I've missed. I don't think there are. There's one coming up on Sally's stage play. Well, and I guess maybe for the grand finale I'll go beat the root pack with, like, one extra projectile. That'll be hype as hell, dude. <laughs> Steadman! Slur. Let's talk to this fuck face. Wow, that guy just told me to go submit my story to Almost Magazine. That was brutal. I always want to get the double parry there, because it's super satisfying, but you need RNG for that shit, my dudes. Oh, slick! No! <laughs> not slick. Okay. Give me the good ones. Give me the good ones. That was not the good ones. That was a bad one. Yeah! There's the nut! No, no, no! Yeah, get him out of there. Time for Vor! It's time for you to die. It's time to be dead. Be dead. Thank you. Explain to me the logistics of the ghost mice in the prison, in like the cat prison, if in the end it was being controlled by the mouse. The fuck does that mean? It's like Metal Gear. It's like, it has to be like supernatural shit or nano machines. It can't be both. You know, these guys are kind of like a little grim matchstick, I just realized. The other level had tiny Goopy Legrande. Is that like, is, is Goopy at all related to Ariana? Oh, coin! No! Oh, no! Oh! I don't need the coins, I don't care. I won't allow it. I'm gonna pull a slick strat on this guy. I bet you guys didn't know you could do this. Swear. And now, time for a little bit of hell, ladies and gents. Just hearing this music alone is enough to trigger an individual. If I get this guy on the first try, I'm gonna I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Now, real man, real man's world. I can't believe I first tried this guy. Honestly, that uh, that came as a surprise to even me. Yeah, you remember Bender? This is him now. You feel old yet? There's the pat. There's the pat on the back. So this one has a secret phase. I guess we'll show that off. So you gotta get up on these little cherubs, and you see the thing just above the groom just like jostle for a second? You actually need to take care to not kill her. Cause cause you need the kisses. And there you go, now I can kill her. Oh! 
What? I was really expecting that to just end. Wait. Wait, the husband disappeared. That was really weird. Also, there's sirens. Is this illegal? Is what I'm doing illegal? He raises grapes and a baby comes in and pushes a fucking fireball at you. Because life isn't hellish enough. So I guess they both died and went to heaven, and this is like their reckoning? I don't know. I don't know the lore, man. So, something really weird happened there. She- I like skipped a phase. I skipped the se I skipped the third phase? Second phase? The one where she goes to the nunnery. Did I just like invent a strat? Is that what that is? Well, let's do this again. I, I need to be sure that that's not just a part of the alternate phase, that it like deletes that. Speedrun, by the way. Professional speedrun. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna try to replicate the glitch that I think happened, but uh, it'd be pretty cool if I accidentally did a strat. So here we go. This is what's normally supposed to happen. She teleports away and she's like, oh shit. But they just like popped out of existence the first time and we skipped this entire phase! Yo! So, uh, slick? We got slick strats, dude? That I wasted by going to check if it was a slick strat, dude? But it was still cool, dude? Dude, speedrunners fucking hate me, dude. Anyway, guys, follow my speedrunning channel. Uh, I develop new strats every day. Truth be told, though, I fucking love this boss. This might be one of my favorite bosses, if not the best. It's just such cool atmosphere. It, it, maybe it's because it feels like Scooby-Doo. Like, the background, especially, feels like a Scooby-Doo wallpaper or whatever. And the music, too, going like, wow, wow. And like, it's cool. It's like automatopoeia music. Ah, oh, hey, bone brain. Get a blast of this. I just noticed there's little, like, spooksters riding the train. I never even noticed those guys. They're just sitting there. I'm trying to kind of, like, farm a few of these pink things while I can. Because the front side of this train is probably going to whoop my ass. Through the bones and flames. Like I always say. Ah, oh, Scoob! Alright, this one's it. No holds barred. This match will get red hot. Watch the slam of the century. Ba -da -ba -ba. It's also just like banger music as usual. Hoo okay, I'm fine. Hey, bone, etc. I faced the wrong way like an asshole. Yeah, 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 mate. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. I like the little spooksters, though, now that I noticed them. They're very nice. Oh, oh, it's never this guy. It's never this guy. Why is it this guy this time? Oh, God, it's never that guy. It's always the other guy. And I died. Wow, 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 wow. I didn't- I failed to mention, but there's actually a segment of this boss where you have to die to save to get optimal time later, and you actually have to take damage and then reset right there. It's a frame-perfect trick, and it looks- I made it look really easy, but it takes a lot of practice. I really hope I don't get fucked by his bobbing head. There we go. I don't want to get fucked by anyone's bobbing head, honestly. Ah! There's his bobbing head! Yeah! It's this guy again. I, I've never seen that happen before, but now it's happened twice in a row. I thought it was always safe to start out on the left side here, but I guess not. Okay, okay. I just gotta get myself hyped up here. Watch this. You gotta parry and then immediately super. Yeah! And then I died. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna get it this time. There's nothing preventing me. Okay, except that. Alright, don't bob your head at me. Don't- Ah, I was too scared of the bob! It's always one cheeky damage, this part. No, oh, two cheeky damage! Now, I guess I'm gonna stay in the middle here, because apparently he can start from the other side. I didn't know this. Alright, I got full health. I got full charge. Everything's going great. Everything's going great! Yeah! This phase is pretty short, though. It shouldn't be a trifle at all. Try your luck! Devil's Casino. Now with smoking. So this guy, to those of you who can't, who haven't played this game before, this guy sucks ass. You gotta get the health so that you can avoid his bullshit. We already had an epidemic of me singing along with the music, and now it's gonna get way worse with this banger of a tune. Alright, 
get some domestic abuse in there, and let's get out of here. What if, like, just to flex on King Dice, I cleared out all of the spaces? Like, on the board. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Fuck you, King Dice. Think you can fuck with me? Alright, now I'm getting a two. I'm flexing on him. We're doing this, bitch. I'm even gonna fight the scum monkey. That's right. The scum monkey. This guy isn't too bad. His, his cues are a little weird, if you get what I mean. And I'm not talking about his attack cues! That's what I'm talking about. I guess you just don't want to be on that side of the screen. Of course, I could literally just skip it. Instead of doing this for no reason. They were like, you know what this game needs? A fucking matching card puzzle. Yeah, that's what it needs. Oh, it gets faster! Oh, 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 not even close, monkey. Not even close. Okay. Oh, I'll get into your monkey mode, you piece of shit. What can I do? What can I do? I just realized the rope doesn't hurt you. That makes this so much easier. I've been treating it as though the rope hurts you, but that hurts you. That hurts you a lot. Oh, I hate this monkey so much. Why is it so long? Now I'm going to deliberately get start over. He thinks he's a japester, but he's wrong. I really have a feeling I'm just gonna fuck up a single parry at the end. This cigar, of course, one of the 10,000 things in this game modeled after Cab Calloway. The whole board is clear. Does it just automatically start the fight if this happens? Nope, I gotta go through the whole rigmarole, if you will. This dice, of course, being one of the 10,000 characters in this game modeled after Cab Calloway. How did I do that? How did I fuck that up? Well, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta disrespect this man all the way through. What is this game even like without the smoke bomb saving your ass at every possible turn? I wonder. I'm not gonna stand on the edges of the screen. Those are not safe zones. I literally, I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do. True final boss of the game is this damn monkey. Okay, haha, <laughs> very close, monkey. Very cool. Finally getting this getting this together, man. Keep it together, man! Oh, thank god. Perfect monkey phase. King Dice really is a piece of shit. In terms of rigged machines, I think there's no lower that you can go than a claw machine with a fucking monkey. Alright, this guy's this guy's fried chicken. This guy's diced meat. This guy's horse feathers. This guy's hogwash. This guy's the baby with the bathwater. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. Uh, finally. I better get a damn A, dude. Holy shit. How long did it take? Oh, it's still going. Oh, it's still going. When's it gonna stop? Oh, yeah, it's a speed run. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speed run. Yeah. Watch my speed run. It's nine minutes for one fight. Yeah. A plus, bitch. Bitch! And I've actually got a great trick for this final boss that not a lot of people know about that makes it a lot easier than uh, it seems on the surface. Alright, let's see if I can do this right. This is a frame-perfect trick. Time! There it is! 157. Guys, we got a 157. Holy shit. Holy shit. Call Guinness. Well, folks, I did it. And I think we can all agree that the ending was climactic. The final boss was definitely fought and not submitted to. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to show you guys the secret phase, as I promised. Oh. <laughs> I did not know this was a feature. The music's all like Beatles vision. It's backwards. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that. I literally sold my soul to the devil for a good speedrun time. Let's talk to this fuck. I bet I got enough A grades. Yeah! My dear friends, you just earned a great bonus! Check out your option menu for a new visual mode! Guess what? Now we have shitty color mode. <laughs> Where it's just fading between red and green. It looks cool though. Alright, secret veggie mode. The parryable things stick out a lot less in alternate color modes. 
which is, it's kind of like a little extra challenge. Alright, so what you gotta do for this one is just not do anything. And you gotta dance, too. It doesn't work if you don't dance. And he gets all happy! And then I get fucked by random RNG. This game fucking sucks, RNG bullshit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what you want. The bad police are here. Let's see if I let's see if I get this again. Yep, it looks like my dancing was satisfactory. Thank God. And I I, I just need to not stand there. I just need to not stand there. I just noticed when you kill the carrots, it makes a little like chomp sound, like a crunching on a chariot. Crunching on a chariot. I didn't even realize how much I fucked up the word carrot. Ah, fine, whatever, I'll beat the devil. Ah, you chat, you... you twisted my arm, you insisted. Fine, I'll do it. To future historians. Chat didn't say jack shit, I'm just doing this because I want it. Let's just go ahead and, uh... Beat the devil out of it. Just realized I don't have the spread shot on... The spread shot is typically a thing that I want for this fight, but whatever. I think I've realized lately that I just kinda love this style of game. Where it's like just a boss rush, it's just pure insanity all the way through. I kind of love that. Yeah, yeah! There it is, folks. What a game. What a match! I think we can all agree that was an impressive display. I actually think I just casually A-ranked that guy. I I'm, I'm thinking Fury is, is pretty soon to come, and maybe I'll get become enough of a nerd about that game to speedrun that too. Maybe not. And there it is, folks. Another happy ending for our hopeful heroes. Until next time, folks.